Ex-Eagle receiver Bud Grant took his battle-scarred Minnesota Vikings to snowbound Philadelphia for the most important game of their history. Led by tough veterans like 215-pound quarterback Joe Cap and 230-pound fullback Bill Brown, this year's Vikings have been a solid, if non-spectacular, team. On Minnesota's first series of the game, Brown led the Vikings to a first down at midfield with a 14-yard burst around end, his longest gain of the day. Then a funny thing happened to reactivated Dave Osborne on his way to Eagle territory. Rookie linebacker Adrian Young detached the ball and moved it back into Viking territory. Eventually, the Eagles capitalized on Young's theft. Norm Sneed faked to Tom Wodeschick and lofted a five-yard scoring pass to split in Gary Ballman in the left corner of the end zone. The Eagles went ahead seven to nothing. Philadelphia's longest gain of the day came on an unusual play as Sam Baker punted from near his own goal line. Seventy-two yards later, the Eagles had the ball on the Viking 12-yard line. This set up the Eagles' other touchdown, which came on a play-action pass from Sneed to rapidly improving tight end Fred Hill. Brought the Eagles to within four points in the fourth quarter. But thanks to men like number 81, all-pro candidate Carl Eller, this was to be the Vikings' day. The Viking defense may not be as notorious as some, but they keep opponents' gains to a minimum. And with the Eagles on the Viking three-yard line, number 88, Alan Page, demonstrated the ultimate in goal line defense. Big, versatile, speedy Page also works the other end of the field. But the biggest plays were supplied by the sometimes erratic Viking offense. Number 84, Gene Washington faked a square out and clearly beat number 30, Alvin Haymond, for a 30-yard touchdown. Haymond clearly was not pleased. The biggest play of all came on a typical cap scramble. Followed by an atypical 57-yard bomb to the king of the one-yard touchdown, Bill Brown. Determination definitely has its rewards, and no man is more determined than Bill Brown. The Vikings' final touchdown was scored by Cap himself, with help from a block from none other than Bill Brown. Suddenly, it became clear that the Minnesota Vikings, picked for last place by most so-called experts, the Minnesota Vikings, never before champions of any division, the Minnesota Vikings, the NFL's second expansion team, yes, the Minnesota Vikings were going to replace the Green Bay Packers as champions of the Central Division. For Philadelphia, it was the end of a nightmare. For Minnesota, the beginning of a dream come true. A big pardon, sir. Yeah. I'm holding an interview on men's fashion. Those are mighty good looking slacks you're wearing. Hager Imperial. They good slacks? Nobody tailors slacks like Hager. Here, let me show you. Oh, that darling. How oh, about this? Watch this. How about that extra deep waistband? You don't get that with just any slacks. That's what makes Hager Imperials fit so well. 
And that wool mark, awarded only to the world's best pure virgin wool. 100% pure virgin wool with a permanent crease that stays really permanent. Must cost a bundle. 18 to $25. Oh, may I have your name, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't get my name. Please, I just need your name for the record. I work for another slacks company, and my boss is a radio news desk. And if he heard this, <laughs> darling, wouldn't he? What's that? What's that? Oh, no. Not television. Give Hager Slacks to the men on your Christmas list. Hager Slacks, inside and out, the best tailored slacks you can buy.